How's it going guys and welcome to the first episode of Mac Apps for Reviews. This week, we are reviewing Deer Hunter Reloaded by Glue Games. This game implements a sport of hunting with tons of missions and challenges to keep you playing. The unique in-game shop makes playing and saving up your money just as intriguing as murdering cute fluffy animals. This free-to-play game will interest the deer hunting crowd as well as introduce new gamers who love leveling up and getting better. I have to admit, the graphics in this game are pretty rad for a free-to-play game. The wilderness feels rich at times, but at others you feel boxed in like a studio-made forest. The back of each map looks like wallpaper, and the animal movements are too consistent and identical. Being the gamer that I am, I pay strong attention to the detail, and those like me will see this as the game's drawback. Starting new, everything might seem confusing. The in-game tutorials give beginners a helping hand. My first couple hunts made me feel like a noob, but soon enough I got the hang of my wild side. Each mission has a certain task. For instance, one might say kill two white-tailed deer with headshots, while others give you a certain amount of time to take out as many animals at once. Failure, however, is crucial. Each mission costs a certain amount of energy, and you only have a hundred to start out with. This is a major flaw. You might run through the missions like a true deer hunter, or you might find yourself doing two or three missions before you run out of energy. This has been implemented into the game so players might buy in-game money with real money to fill up your energy bar. The one thing I love is the bullet cam and the x-ray vision. The bullet cam follows a speeding bullet to the unlucky animal you are killing. Moments in the game like the bullet cam make you jump out of your seat and scream victoriously like a man. Or maybe a woman. The x-ray vision, however, lets you see the vital organs of your animal for the perfect kill. This might be very handy for some missions that require a lung or chest shot. The only drawback is the battery level, which of course has to be purchased to refill. You really feel angry or you just hate animals? Try out the bloodthirsty stampede game mode where the entire animal kingdom, from rabbits to 600 pound caribou, decide to gang up on you. In this game mode, you have a certain amount of time to achieve a score. To get points, you simply take out animals as they charge towards you. It's simply murder. Personally, I see this as the game's center point and the missions are just there to give you the money to improve your equipment. With several maps, this is the best part of the game. On top of the graphics and the need for purchasing in-game money to make the game playable, the animal AI needs improvement. Scaring the deer away may be realistic at times, but most of the time, if you shoot and miss, the deer might take two feet and go back to doing whatever a deer does. This makes the game more fun to play than realism, which may lead away intense gamers like me. All in all, Deer Hunter Reloaded captures the sport of hunting while making it fun to play. The graphics and AI are just small drawbacks that can be made up by the fun stampede mode. For the average shoot to thrill leveling up gamer, this is a great game that may bring in some gamers that aren't too familiar with hunting. But for the intense gamer that is always looking for smooth and detailed graphics and gameplay, this may only be fun for a short while. So that's it guys for this episode of Max App Store Reviews. If you have any games to recommend to me, I'll definitely do them. So yeah, be sure to check out this game. I'll put the link and everything in the description. Peace out.